Hey everyone, I'm Beatty Fox and I'm going to show you how to make your own Spyro egg, hand painted. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and comment down below if you'd like to give me ideas or have any comments. Thank you! Okay, so I start out with just a basic Game of Thrones egg, very plain. I take some saran wrap so that I don't get the table messy. Do two layers. Put it over the edge. Now that's the ring that goes under the egg to keep the egg standing. I cover this with saran wrap so that I do not get paint on the actual stand itself. But it's gonna help while we uh, paint it. And this is about half water and half white acrylic paint and I added water about half of it so that it would be a little bit runny for this first layer because as you can see there's a lot of grooves and ridges on this egg and we want to take the paint and kind of run it in between the grooves there. I also make sure and once I have a good amount of paint I make sure and take the paintbrush and pull it downwards so that we don't get a bunch of weird streaks that are in every direction. Especially since when we do the second layer, you will be able to see these streak marks. And we want it to just look like plain flush white color on each one of the scales. I consistently keep putting more and more paint onto my paintbrush so that it will be like glooping off of the paintbrush so it's easier to get inside of the grooves that way. Egg keeps wanting to keep want falling to the side there so I kind of have to hold it up. My fingers. And just be careful that you don't touch the painted side when it's wet or else you will make a big splotch area where the brown original color will show through and you don't want that. Just want it all one flat white color so it'll dry like that. And every once in a while I'll pull the paintbrush down so that we get no street marks because we don't want that. It takes a little while to finish the first layer because the paint, it doesn't really want to stick to the surface very well unless you use like a heavy varnish for the first coat. See, it's just plain, but it works fine this way. You just make sure not to rub it off of your finger as you go and work around the other side, kind of just spinning it. I just do everything except for the very bottom where it's resting on the mount. And making sure that each one of the scales is pretty white and it's not half translucent because with the watery consistency you might get a little bit of translucentness but we did need it to be watery to be able to work in those scale grooves. At this point I had let it dry for about two hours and I'm putting the second coat on right now which was pretty quick seeing that we did the first coat so well. Every time I come back to the project after I let it dry before I do that I let it be covered so it doesn't dry out so we're just not wasting any paint. This is the last and a very last step of making it white is the bottom. And the bottom of these Game of Thrones eggs are like they're pock, they have like pock marks and holes. So I really had to jam the paint in these holes. So lots and lots of paint on the paintbrush. And I'm gonna let it dry upside down. Spot time! Okay, so the spots are really hard because of the grooves. So you just kind of sort of lay your pattern with each different color because the spiral egg has like purple spots and it has blue spots and some 
mix of blue and purple. It's like kind of a teal purple spot. So a couple of these spots actually look like eggs themselves. So kind of just work a pattern on of an edge and then fill it with paint and then make sure the grooves are filled, but try and stay inside the pattern. It's gonna be a little hard, but yeah, you, you're just gonna have to stay inside the pattern as best you can and work around each scale. And then the scale dips underneath, like each scale goes underneath of itself. So you'll have to like kind of bend the paintbrush a little bit so that it just glides onto the next scale, sort of as to say. And this first spot took me a little while to get the right color. Um, I, originally I used a royal purple, but I didn't want it to be that royal of a purple. I wanted it to be like this purple teal color. So I add some sky blue in here in a second. And that makes it a really pretty color. And this is the color I use for like three different spots on the egg. And you can use the same paintbrush throughout this entire process. I just used the cardboard over there to thin the paintbrush out so I could just go with another color. Which is necessary for other transitioning between other spot colors. But if you're mixing colors like I am on this first spot, it doesn't matter too much. So yeah, you need a lot of blue to get to this pretty blue-purple color. And I'm actually mixing the paint right there on the egg as I'm working on it, so. But you could mix the paint on a, on a surface or in a bowl. You could mix the paint to the exact color you wanted first. But I wasn't really sure what color I wanted to go with, so that's why we did this first spot was a test. So here I got sort of this pretty like blue purple mix of a color there. So that's the color I base a couple of the other spots off of. And it doesn't really matter where you place the spots. Just make sure that each spot is a different size and that some of them are facing a different direction because it is an egg. It doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be perfect but just go slow and just use your eyes to see where the scales are in the bumps because if you if you're not aware of the bumps and the scales it's going to look really messed up and you kind of got to push with your fingers to get it in all the little grooves and i didn't i didn't go easy on the paint here because it likes to the paint likes to fall into the grooves and like seep in the grooves and then your spot will look like translucent so I made sure and used a lot of paint for each spot just real heavy on the paintbrush and I love these little tiny little aqua blue color dots and I just randomly put them anywhere I feel like after this point as I turn the egg, I kind of make sure I'm aware of my fingers so I don't ruin the paint job. And I'm doing this really fast in real time because I want to be able to put the glitter that I have selected. I want that glitter to be set on the egg while the paint is wet so that the glitter will seep into the paint and like hold it there. And it looks nice too. It looks as if I used a glittered paint. And just put them randomly across the egg. All different areas, up, down, left, right, doesn't matter. I just didn't put any of the spots on the very bottom because I'm going to put kind of this distressed kind of a worn look onto the bottom of the egg when I'm done. I used a pattern, it was dark purple and then the mix purple blue we were talking about and then aqua. So I tr transitioned between all those three colors as I move around the egg.
they're all primarily in some way shaped like an egg or an oblong so i didn't really make any of the spots perfectly around they're just all kind of a different type of egg or oblong or oval kind of a shape And there's some little ones, some little cute ones. That's elongated one. It's kind of stretched out, looks nice, looks natural. I'll do the very last side here. And I'm being really careful because the paint on the other side is still drying. Big blue dot with a little bit of purple in it. Like a royal blue purple, it's pretty. And this is fun too, because you can mix the colors and you can do whatever you feel like. It comes natural. And this one's a really big spot just for character. Adding a little bit of blue, because it was too dark. It's almost perfect. And just a couple of little sideways ones. I tried not to go too close to the bottom there, but I couldn't help it. I, I want it to be all up and down the entire length of the egg. But note that if you put too many spots on the direct bottom or the direct top, you won't have anywhere to rest the egg or to hold on to it with your fingers, which is would make it really difficult to do this. Because as I add spots, it seems to be more difficult to hold the egg. Just leave a little gap at the top for your fingers. And you can paint around it, just little tiny spots, but I wouldn't cover the top or the bottom. Pretty much done there with the spots, just doing some critiquing. Because I'm a perfectionist like that. It has to be beautiful. We are, we are ready for the glitter, oh my gosh. So I use Glitties, which is, um, it's a cosmetic glitter. But I bought it because it's a really fine powder, so it doesn't come out a blue glitter unless it's like really concentrated. So yeah, I just, I kind of concentrate it really heavily on the blue dots and kind of lightly do it on the purple spots. I messed up! No! <laughs> I'm flicking it everywhere now, it doesn't matter, because if you flick it really finely, it's not going to be a colored uh, glitter, it's just going to be like this pretty, like a glimmer sheen to it. And I add a lot to it, I add a lot to the darker spots. Just a little bit, I add a moderate amount to the blue spots and I add a lot to the purple spots and the dark blue spots. And you can get some glitter on the top, see I messed up right there but it's on there good but it's an egg you know it does not have to be perfect in any way glitter put the glitter wherever you want it throw it all over the place go wild we're about to do the detailing on the bottom like i was talking about look at that glitter Ooh. I do this so that it'll look all like magical in the sun, you know? It is the dragon egg. Okay, so I just completely enamor my fingers, just coat my fingers in glitter and just start smashing it all over the bottom. Cause this is where the egg's gonna like naturally rest on the ground or whatever and the 
technically if it was in a dragon's nest, you know, that would be the part that touches the ground or the straw. So it's kind of more like a darker color, I guess you could say. So that's why I just added a lot of glitter to the bottom. I think it looks really nice. don't have to go shy with the glitter because as you can see it looks fabulous and there we go we're all done remember if you liked my video and you think it's pretty cool you want to try it yourself give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to go and sub to me or put a comment down below I love to hear what you guys think thank you have an awesome day Spyro egg!